What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my Jack and Daxter Let's Play. Today, we're going to be playing through Sentinel Beach. Let's get right into it. All right, I already got a little bit of lag. But in this level, we are going to start right off getting a scout fly. Let's go. And then we get these new little creatures, little like crab looking things. I'm just kind of do that to get rid of them. Grab these precursor orbs. And we're going to see something interesting up here. Not this guy, even though he's kind of interesting. A lot of them, actually. Um, you're going to see these bombs blowing up. And you can see right there, a bomb just blew up one of these crates right here. Normally, what you would do is you would go up there where they're being shot from, take over the cannon, and then shoot it yourself. But as a kid, I didn't know that. So what you can do whoa, is just stand near these crates, and the guys will automatically shoot near you and hopefully blow these up. It'll probably take a couple tries, though. Okay, that's a good shot. Let's go. And that's all of them, except for this one over here. Oh, and we got the pelican. Hey, that pelican just snagged a power cell. Let's go kick some big bird butt. Gotta go kick some big bird butt. All right, he's on that little island there. We will get that in a second after we get this destroyed. Oh, that one should do it. Yeah, let's go. Alright, we see a power cell over here. Get out of here. I feel like that's kind of a random spot to have a power cell, though. Just kind of sitting there. I wonder what that one even, like, was. Explore the beach. <laughs> it's just like they couldn't figure out where to put one, so they just set it right there. Let's go up here, grab all of these things. And we got these little dog looking things, but unfortunately, they hurt us. So, that's gotta happen. <laughs> I don't want to, but I have to. And we got a couple more doggos here. This bridge looks like it would break if one of those uh, bombs hit it. Alright, we're gonna come up to these little things, and I'm pretty sure the green sage already talked to us about them. About these, uh, we're just gonna break these rocks to, uh, unclog them. I don't know if that's the right word for that, but I guess so, I don't know. Let's do that, and then we get another power cell, let's go. Also, I don't know if my, like, voice sounds weird right now, but if it does, I apologize. I've been having really bad uh, allergies today. I would offer my congratulations, but you have so much to do, I won't waste your time. By the way, if things don't work out, Daxter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. <laughs> I love how sassy, like, pretty much every character in this game is. Okay. I was just gonna see if I can do that. All right, what you're supposed to do here is jump down here, hold down R1, and then press square and do like this jump punch. You punch that up, and then we can jump on it and get up there now. Which I think we were supposed to do that on this side to get that uh, scout fly. But you don't have to. I could be wrong. I don't know. All right, let's head over here. We got some more crabs. Um. We're not going to do that part quite yet, but the important thing to know is that uh, if we didn't go to the Forbidden Jungle before this place, I believe this, like, Blue Eco vent would be closed. Because we opened it up in the uh, temple right before we had the boss fight. It was either that vent or a different one that's up there. I'm just pretty sure they were closed off. Alright, let's get back up here. Okay, yeah, so that one is to get that scout fly, but as you can see, you can just come over here and do a crouch jump right there. But now we can get these. Ooh, almost missed it. Alright, we get these. And the scout fly. Oh, I just missed it. And you can see right there, that's the cannon that was shooting those boxes on the beach. Which we. Whoops. <laughs> I meant to do that, but also didn't mean to do that. And we can see the bird right over there. There are precursor orbs in the water, which are kind of annoying. I, I hate it when they put them in water, but it's only a few, so it's fine. All right, we're gonna stand right here for a sec. Oh, I broke it, okay. 
I actually did not know you could bring it like that. I'm gonna try that again. Okay, that's sick. Yeah, I had no idea about that. All right, and then last one. I'm only coming over here because I'm pretty sure there's a power cell. I could be wrong. Okay, yeah, there is. As a kid, I never actually like 100% this game. I did beat it, but you don't need all the power cells to beat it. So, uh, yeah. So this one I had no idea about because I did not know there or how to get up here. I, because I think I would always come here before I would open up one of those vents. Uh, I don't actually need this, so. <laughs> Shoot the pelican! Get some, get some, get I hit him. Okay. I'm sure we got close enough. Get me there! Uh oh. Okay. We're close enough to the shore where there's no uh, fish thing. Alright, you're gonna see. There is a glitch here with the pelican where I think you punch him and then, like, do something and you, like, catch the power cell, I think. I could be completely wrong on that. But I'm pretty sure there's a way you could, like, uh, glitch it and get that, uh, power cell. And I think I just activated the, uh, precursor orb that was up there. Which I didn't actually mean to, so that was kind of lucky. Star power, or I mean, precursor orbs behind this waterfall. So, make sure you get those. And I think I said in another episode that I'm gonna have to come back to the Green Sage's uh, village. But, um, I might have enough of these precursor orbs to do the Oracle thing after I, uh, finish this area and then, um, miss the item. That's what it's called. Oh, no, I didn't get it. I thought I heard something activate. Okay, so you can punch the pelican and he opens, and he, uh, kind of throws the uh, power cell. We're not going to do that just yet. First, we are going to come over here. Scare these birdies away. Or seagulls, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's grab this. And then I'm pretty sure they hide some down here. Yeah. I'm so happy I'm playing this game again, by the way. I don't know if you can just tell by how I'm talking or what compared to like other games but this is genuinely like one of my favorite games ever i've played through this so many times all right we got a power cell here and we get the robot dance i love all the animations they do for daxter in this game oh wait i forgot about these just get those there might be more hidden under this one. No, okay. Who's that? And we scared the birds away one more time. And then we see what happens. The birds must be super strong if they broke them out. Let's check it out. Can't speak. Yeah, I don't know what my problem has been. Um, I'm recording this on a different day than the last few episodes. And, or a different week, I should say. <laughs> In the past few days, just to like work and everything, I have not, for the life of me, been able to talk. Like, what I want to say just does not come out right. <laughs> I don't know why. Alright. We're gonna do the pelican now. Grab that, or seagull, whatever it is. I already forgot. Okay, we activated that. And boom. Spit it out. And now we gotta race it there. Quick! We have to get to the power cell before the pelican scoops it up again. Oh, go, go, go. I feel like I used to have a problem with this for some reason. Even though it's right here. Give me that. Let's go. All right, and then there's another power cell over here just sitting, waiting for us to grab it. Give 
give me that. Also, cool fact, uh, the Uncharted games, which is made by the same company, Naughty Dog, I'm pretty sure in every single game, one of the collectibles is a precursor orb, just to kind of like throw back to the series. All right, we got to push the flut flut egg off the cliff and then the seven scout flies, which how many do I have? Five? <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to switch for one. I actually don't remember where any more are other than this one. I kind of forget this one. Actually, I need these two, so... Oh, I just walk, walked right past that. Okay. Where have I not gone in this area? It's probably like up against this like, cliff or something. Go! Okay, we got it. Get off here! Good job. Now beat me down here by the egg. And then we get this awesome cutscene. Oh my. I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's a power cell for your valor. No, no. No, 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 no. Look. Isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mama. Ah, I'm not your mom. You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. Listen, boys, I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. All right, got another a, a trophy right there, and Baxter has a child apparently. <laughs> Alright, we gotta find this last uh, scout fly, and then were there a couple more precursor orbs? Yeah, there's six more. Oops. Where would I have left some of those? Hmm. I actually don't know. Did I? Oh, I, I didn't even touch this area. I already see the box. Also, oh, once again. I apologize. I'm not playing the HD collection, which I probably should have. Um, so graphics probably aren't as good as that. I'll, I might replay that in the future at some point, just to you know, just because I want to. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I will play the HD collection for Jack Two and Jack Three at some point, just so it kind of looks better. Because I'm pretty sure it actually does look and run a lot better as an HD collection on the PS3 than this, because this is a straight port from PS2 to uh, PlayStation Now, I believe. Like, I don't know if they changed anything, except maybe, like, the frame rate. Alright. There's that. We got buzzing. And we got that. And I believe that's it. Yeah, got everything for Sentinel Beach. Uh, actually, how many? Two twenty. Wait, <laughs> sorry, I keep pausing it. Uh, what is this? One twenty. Okay, so we definitely can buy it after we go to uh, Misty Island. So I'm just gonna get us back to this village over here. I just I said the name of it in the last like few episodes. I I already forgot. Is it like Sentinel Rock? Is that what it's called? Come on, show the name. Ow. Good. You've collected enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells and hurry. My father says he's seen more lurkers around. Sorry, but you are going to have to wait because we get to use the boat now. And it was all right. Oh, uh, Sandor Village. Yeah, I did not remember that, to be honest. All right. So, Santa Village. Sorry, I had to pause it there. I mean, I guess you guys probably would have known, known at all that I paused it there, but... All right, it's not even showing up here because we haven't been there yet. I was just going to see if it was there since we talked to the art guy. But in the next episode, we are going to hop on this boat and take it over to that island. Once again, this is one of those things that I love about this game, and this is one of the things that we're trying to show off when coming out with the PS2. 
but it is completely open world no loading screens and you can see right over there that is where we're gonna go um i just think that's awesome you can see like pretty much everywhere you're gonna go on the map at certain like points <laughs> of course but uh yeah anyways that'll do for this episode if you enjoyed please feel free to leave a like comment and subscribe thank you for watching